and welcome to my channel. In today's video, which is all about what vegetable seeds to sow in March and how to sow them, and I'll also be talking to you about one of my favourite vegetables, kaolettes. So let's get growing. This is the mixture that I'm using for seed sowing and if you're interested in researching peat-free compost then check out my previous video, I'll leave the link in the description below. Here are some kaolettes from my garden and these are one of my most favourite vegetables. If you're wondering what is a kaolette then let me explain. When a kale and a brussels sprout love each other very much, a kaolette is born. Aww. Not only are they good for you, and my kids actually eat them, but they are so versatile. You can boil them, steam them, cut them up raw into salads, and one of the best things I like to do with them is blitz them in a food processor and freeze them in a Ziploc bag. Then I just add a handful or two to anything that I'm cooking. I cook with these a lot and I would highly recommend growing them, plus you get a nice long season. We've been harvesting these for months. Well, I could talk all day about kale. Yeah, I know, I'm a weirdo. So let's actually get on and sow some. So I'll be sowing a few uh, this month in March and also a few next month. You can also direct sow these in May if you like. You need to grow these in a propagator or um, pots and trays with lids. And germination takes around four to seven days. Uh, make sure you remove the lid or cover when the seedlings appear. I'm sowing these seeds one per pot, um, about a centimetre down, and then just lightly cover them over and firm them in. Label them up, pop them in a tray of water until the surface compost is damp, then remove them to a dry tray and keep them on a warm windowsill. When these are large enough to be planted outside, firm them in well and cover them with some sort of mozzy netting or fleece um, because you will need to protect them from pigeons, whitefly and cabbage white butterflies. And this is what they look like when they just start to come through. These pots, which I've had for years and years now, are starting to split and crack. So I can always just double them up and um, keep them going a little bit longer. If you're interested in containers that you can recycle into seed sowing pots, then check out this video. I'll leave the link in the description below. Next, I'll be sowing some kale. This is a selection bag. You can't tell which is which from the seeds. I'm just going to pop one in each pot and I'll successionally sow these every few weeks. You could also sow these in a tray and prick them out when they're large enough to handle and pot them on. Germination takes around seven days. Plant them out in the garden when they're about 10, 12 centimetres tall. Firm them in well and protect like you would with the kaolettes. Label them up, pop a lid on them or grow them in a propagator and give them a good water. Keep them on a warm windowsill. Next I'll be sowing a couple of tomatoes. Um, check out the previous video of what seeds to sow in February because I'll explain more about tomatoes in that vlog. Um, but I'm just doing an extra couple here. This is what the others look like. They've germinated really well. You can either take out the weaker one or repot it on. When these are a decent size, I will pot them into this container, which is just a fruit container, which we had from the supermarket. And then I can easily give that to friends or family if they want some tomato plants. Next, I will be sowing leeks. I love leeks. I prefer them to onions. So we do grow quite a few of these. And I'm just going to do one seed per cell and obviously successionally sow these as well so they get a longer season. Plant in March, April for a winter harvest, or you can plant them in June for a harvest next spring. Gently poke them down about half a centimetre and sprinkle over with some soil so that they are covered. And as usual, label them up and water from below. I'm growing three different types of cucumbers this year. I grow all of my cucumbers in the greenhouse, but you could try them outside in the summer. The first one I'm planting is F1 Burpless. It has slightly bumpy skin. And as with all courgette and cucumber seeds, as they're so flat, we want to be planting them on their edge to prevent them rotting. Push them down about a centimetre, cover them lightly with some soil, 
and firm them in. Germination should be around six to nine days. And you'll know the drill by now. Label them up, give them a drink and keep them on a warm windowsill. The second cucumber I'll be sowing is this kind of small gherkin style cucumber. I haven't grown it before, so this is new to me, but the instructions will be the same for all of the other cucumbers. If you've grown this before, let me know how it turned out in the comment section below. And the third and final cucumber I'll be sowing is Delhi Star. And I particularly like this variety because it has smooth skin and is actually really tasty. Again, just sow one seed per pot, about a centimetre down. Germination will take six to nine days. And you can plant out in the garden in June or April, May in a greenhouse. Remember last month I planted the loofah seeds. Um, I planted two, one per pot. Um, I wanna grow these because I'm trying to reduce my plastic cleaning sponges, so I wanted to use natural loofahs for cleaning. Only one germinated, this is the fella, but it's looking good and strong. I'll be growing two different types of courgette this year, but the seed is sown in exactly the same way. Pop it on its edge, one to two centimeters deep. Cover it with some soil. I'm using these old plastic labels and each year I just write on them in pencil and then I can just rub it out and keep reusing them. Once you've labelled it, give it a water and pop it on a sunny windowsill. Next, I'll be sowing lamb's lettuce. This is tiny, tiny seed. So just take a little pinch, sprinkle it along the compost um, or tap with your palm. You can sow these all year long um, and grow them indoors or um, in a greenhouse. Germination takes around seven to 10 days. You can grow in a greenhouse throughout the winter or you can direct sow during May and June, ready for a harvest in July, August. Very lightly cover them with some soil, gently firm down, label and water from underneath. As soon as the compost on the surface is damp, then close the lid and pop them on a warm windowsill. This is what they look like when they come through, pretty tiny at the moment. I've got three different types of lettuce that I'll be sowing. An iceberg variety, all sorts is like a cut and come again. And Maureen is a variety that's like a little gem. You can sow these March, April indoors or April to June outside and sow every three to four weeks so that you get a nice long crop, but watch out for those pesky slugs and snails. And my final sowing of seeds is another kind of salad crop that we use, which is perpetual spinach. It's a bit different to the spinach that I sowed last month, which was matador, because that's more of a summer and autumn harvesting spinach. This one is not really a spinach at all. It's more from the um, beet family. It's a type of chard. And um, it's much easier to grow in some respects. It doesn't bolt as easily. And you have a nice long season where you can treat it as a cut and come again effectively and you can harvest this right through the autumn and through the winter so if you've had trouble in the past growing spinach um, maybe try perpetual spinach i've just sown some seed in here poked it down about a centimeter and lightly covered it over i'll water these in well um, label them up and pop them on a warm windowsill and these all get started so that I can transplant them for growing on in the greenhouse. But I will also direct sow some um, outside in my garden. This is the spinach that I sowed last month. This is Matador and it's pretty good and strong now. So I think it's ready to move on and be either potted up in the greenhouse or um, under a cold frame in the garden. Here are the chilies that I sowed last month. They're doing nicely and the sweet peppers have germinated well and I'll wait for those to be a bit bigger before I pot them on. Thanks for watching, give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and enjoyable and I'll see you in the next video.